Every kitchen needs a stunning focal point. So I've been sketching and brainstorming ideas for my dream hood design that mixes antique and new materials. And after months of meticulous planning and working on our custom cabinetry in the mill shop, we are finally ready for install day. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. And welcome back to the week that we are finally going to be able to see the cabinets in the finishing stages. I'm gonna show you all of my designs for our hood. We're gonna to get to go see that hopefully very, very soon and making a lot of pretty progress on the kitchen in the next two weeks. Over this last week, they've already started working on painting the space and staining the beams. So I actually wanted to go with the same color palette that we did in the formal living room right when you walk into our home because it would further tie the two spaces together. Not that every room needs to match exactly, but it needs to complement each other in some way. So all of the beams throughout the house will be the same color. I wanted them the same color. So this is a stain color called Kona. It's a gel stain, so it's, a, it's much darker. It looks so beautiful when paired with a warmer neutral. So we're going with the same pink color that we did in the front room, which is Sculptor Clay by Bear. They have some touch-up paint to do, but they've pretty much painted the room already. They've also been working on painting the doors and the windows in here the same color to match the rest of the house, which is White Dove by Benjamin Moore. And you may notice that we have handles now on the doors. I looked for vintage handles forever, but I needed so many of them that I just couldn't find something that one, I liked, and two, I could find enough of them. So I did go with a new option, but I picked a specific lever and also a specific rosette to pair with it. So I made my own kind of combination and I love them. I'm actually glad that I went with this option. I will leave these linked. They have so many options from M Tech. So the two doors on the outside are the quote unquote, let's call them real doors. The ones that open and will lock. I have some additional locks that I got for these doors. And then the ones in the center are actually quote unquote dummies. They call them dummy locks. They don't turn. So once you unlock the top and the bottom of the door, you can just open the door and it goes out to the pool area. So I've been planning out the design for our kitchen for over a year now. And I've been compiling all of my sketches and ideas and inspiration and little details that I wanted to make sure that I incorporated into the design. And I've been putting all of those into boards on Milanote. And a big thank you to Milanote for sponsoring today's video. Milanote is a tool to help you organize any creative project that you may be working on. I like to think of it as one of those big giant mood boards that I used to do on the wall where I would have to physically pin up or tape inspiration photos in my sketches to really see the project start to come to life made digital. And you can see from just my main project boards that I've been using Milanote for years to plan out my room makeovers and the cottage renovation. I have tons of boards for every room in the cottage and even goals and business strategies. So here's my board specifically for the kitchen renovation. And I love how freeform Milanote is. I can put in images and text anywhere on the board that I want. And I can organize all of my crazy design ideas ideas in a way that works for me. I'm not restricted by the program at all. And I can even draw directly on the boards too if I have a crazy idea that I wanna sketch out quickly. But if I'm struggling to get started with a project, Milanote offers over a hundred different built-in templates for every type of creative project. So it can definitely get your creative juices flowing. So one of my favorite features when I'm working and creating a board on Milanote is the Milanote Web Clipper. You can easily add images and links to products while you're shopping online. It's just a simple extension that you can add to your website browser and you can even add it on your phone if you're you know, kind of like adding to your boards on the go. And if I'm working on a makeover for a friend and I've created an inspiration board and I wanna get their comments and feedback, I can easily invite them to see the board and they can make comments directly on the screen so that I know what direction we need to take the project. And Milanote is available for free with no time limit. So you can sign up by clicking the link in my description box to start working on your next creative project. So here is my board 
board for the overall kitchen renovation. And I've actually showed this to you guys before with all of my preliminary ideas. And this has evolved as the project has taken shape as well. So I've got some sub boards in here over on the left that have specific projects that we're working on within the kitchen. So I've got the cabinet door design that I showed you guys in the last episode where we were picking the cabinet profile, the color of the wood stain, what type of wood we were going to be using. And also I've added in here the shelf heights where the shelves are going to go in the cabinetry and just any details that i wanted to remember on the cabinetry specifically i have my kitchen floor plans and renders in here so that i can always reference them even on my phone if i'm on the go and even the updates to those floor plans so that i have everything in one place and the latest board that I've been working on is our hood design. And it's really started with inspiration photos. So I easily added the inspiration photos into Milanote that I loved. I love this hood so much, but I wanted to make it my own. I just wanted to kind of call out specific details about this hood that I loved. And I loved that it had trim and lots of character and also this kind of like spice box on the inside of the hood i wanted to incorporate something like that to utilize the space maybe spices that we use all the time and i also wanted corbels now i have found the most beautiful antique <laughs> corbels that were probably from an old building at the flea market they are very chippy and worn right now the paint's kind of chipping off but when i found them i was like these are going to be the perfect addition for the hood it's going to add so much character and life into some kind of new build i absolutely love the detail the shape it's bringing in that french kind of look as well and here is my design so i've taken inspiration from my inspiration pictures but also our house in general so i really wanted to emulate these kind of soft arches that I have behind me. So I did soft curved corners. So the hood has the same arch to it. I also wanted to add some trim in. So we'll have like a, a larger trim piece that matches the cabinetry and also some smaller like details that we can add a little later as the design starts to develop. Of course, the corbels underneath. And I'm so glad I found the corbels when I did because it really kicked off the design. It kicked me in the right direction. I knew how big the corbels were gonna be so I could build around them. And another thing that the designer actually helped me with that's been working on all of our cabinetry is to have the hood kind of recede back a little bit shallower on the wall as it goes towards the ceiling. This will help the hood not feel so like heavy in your face like it's kind of kind of come over onto you it'll start to curve and recede back to 18 inches when it gets to the ceiling and then also down at the bottom with the corbels it will also recede back i think it's going to be really really pretty kind of like receding back like that and now that i have all of my ideas in one place all of my thoughts out on paper for this hood design i can go ahead and send this along with the big sketch of the hood to my contractor so that they can start working on actually building it and seeing if it's even going to work but i'm i'm pretty confident in the design i just hope it comes together as well as it looks in my head with incorporating our corbels that we found oh i'm absolutely in love with them <laughs> for this this is beautiful because this looks golden, not purple. Correct. Which is what I wanted. Correct. And this is a full dust. It's not clean. Yeah. This is so pretty. This is the sample that he did for the stain for all of the cabinetry because I wanted that dark look and I wanted to eliminate the purple out of the natural color of the actual walnut itself has that purple hue. This is beautiful. This is like golden and dark but not too dark it's not as dark as our beams but it has that dark romeo and i both loved the dark of it all kitchen cabinets are so much further along now because really what we saw was just what they call the carcass it was just literally like this is going to be the measurement but now we needed to add like 
all the trim detail, the panels on the sides, the drawer inserts, and really like finalize those like details. So they're doing as much as they can here so that when we take them over to the house, it's literally just like pick it up, put it in, nail it in, done. This that they made this mock-up is incredible. We actually get to see what the hood is going to be like in the kitchen and make any modifications now so that it's easier to put in. Absolutely in love. From the way the corbels add so much like uniqueness that we just wouldn't get with something new, I feel, I feel like, to the, the arch here, to the molding that they picked here. So the molding is pretty specific. It can't stick out too much because then we can't open the doors on the side. Uh, this, this is what we think about the mm -hmm. uh, molding that will go all, all over. Yeah, obviously, this is going to be paint. So yes. it's going to be the same, but paint. Yes. Because we can't I, go more than that. We, I knew that was going to be a problem. Look how many pieces. I was like, I didn't know. Because <laughs> when that starts to kick out, then it starts to, then you can't open, yeah. Exactly. I knew that was gonna be a problem, exactly. so I was like, we'll uh, tackle that when we get there, Yeah. kind of thing. So you can kind of see what I mean here. They've made this template. This is where the door is going to close. If it was any closer or it kicked out anymore, you wouldn't be able to open the door. So I knew it was going to be tricky to find the right trim to give me the character and the vibe that I wanted. Um, and he's so great. I mean, the designer's so great. So he found this one and it's beautiful. It's actually four pieces put together to make this molding. And this is what's going to go at the top of the cabinets as well. Now the hood will be painted, but everything else will be stained. Even look at the profile. I mean, from my original sketch, this is what I sent them. These were my drawings and my sketches and everything that I wanted. And this is how it's coming out. It's, it's it's how I dropped it up, <laughs> how I drew it up. It's perfect. So obviously this is going to be closed to up here. This is just like the structure of it all. And also inside, it's going to have boxes that we can actually put spices, you know, little things in. It's just gonna add some detail inside. Now right now how they have it, it's a little too high. We are getting that 36 inch height so that our hood and blower still functions. It's not like super high. Also the two cabinets that are sitting on each side, they are uppers. So imagine then lifted 18 inches off of the countertops. They're gonna be um, higher. So they're gonna sit probably around this mark. That's how high they're gonna sit off of the countertops. Oh, this is awesome. Yeah, and this is this is open for the for the leg. Oh yeah, yeah. And you can see that the kitchen portions are so much more evolved than the last time we saw them. They've got side moldings, they've got the uppers, they've got the drawer inserts already put in starting to look more finished and needed all of those like final details. Oh, the sink looks so great. You have a slide that I will convince you to do what you want. We can do three inch. Three inch? Okay. Yeah, that's what, what you want. If you don't like it, that's fine. You just, you know, you get everything in the back. Yeah. yeah. Will it be two panels now? Or no. Single panel. Single. But then just a drawer so insert. So it's match. Yeah. So it's okay. match, match. Okay. So match, match, match. Love it. Yes, yes. So these these are all the same going down, right? right? But then we've got shallower drawers right. for silverware right. and right. other things. Yeah, yeah. 40, 42, and, uh, 42 and a half inside, so about 44. Yes. Yeah, so the, the 12, we can do 10. So this one at top. Yeah. Yeah. So do the biggest one at the bottom. Yeah. So 12, 10, 10, 10, yeah. whatever. 10 is more than enough. enough. Yeah. Almost everything. Everything, because yeah. you think plates and all exactly. of it, like nothing I had was over that measurement. And then we maximize the space because in the old kitchen they had like two shelves and then it was like plates and then space. Exactly. Also we can see the sink and get that into position, um, see how it's going to kind of look with the cabinetry. And then they've got the trash can installed and the Lazy Susan. Final, final touches stage, and then they're gonna be able to come this week and actually install these pieces in the kitchen, which is going to be game changer. This by far 
is the largest part. We had a lot of structural things we did in the beginning. It was a lot of work, but this, this is custom. This is where the time is being spent. Uh, so I'm excited to see it inside. How nice is it? It looks so nice. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's incredible. It is officially cabinet install day. I can't, I can't believe it's finally here. I'm so excited to actually see the boxes and just the kitchen actually take shape, moving from an empty space that we've created, which is so cool and so open and taller, to now actually having the kitchen elements and the, the cabinets and the things, and then we can continue to make progress with like the countertops and the appliances. This is the pretty stage for sure. They just pulled up, they've got a full truck. He said almost all of it fit on the truck. So they're gonna start loading everything in and placing them where they're going to be going.
just finished day one of cabinetry install. <laughs> they were able to accomplish so much. I knew when we were going to the mill shop and we were seeing the progress of the cabinets, the majority of the work was being done offsite, you know? So they were literally going to be able to bring each piece and put it into place, but they were going to be able to install them like that. The majority of the cabinets went on this back wall and all along the sink wall behind me. Now, over on the other side is the part that they're gonna work on tomorrow when they come and they're bringing more pieces. So they brought everything that they could, especially to get started and the truck was full. This is going to be our pantry and it is completely dedicated to being a pantry. It's got deep drawers in it and it's gonna have shelves like this, kind of drawer shelves. That's what I'm calling them, but it's basically ones that can actually pull out, you know, so that you can reach all the way back. We're gonna put the um, appliance, our appliances in here, the two. We're gonna put the microwave and also our little toaster oven in here. So when we use it, we're able to like slide it out and move it back in. We don't use those things a lot. We don't use the microwave. We've been using it a lot more than we normally do. At the cottage, I don't even have a microwave because we just like don't use it. Um, but there's like every once in a while you come across something that you need it for. <laughs> so it's, we have one, we want to put it kind of tucked away instead of it being like on display in the kitchen. I didn't want it like exposed or taking up space. Organizing this kitchen is going to be super, super fun for me as well. There's also going to be pieces up above this that they're going to install as well. They're kind of more angled doors and things. It's going to be interesting up there. So this is the entry from our living room. And these two cabinets sit on the countertop. So I was interested to see, I'm like, are they going to wait? <laughs> you know, my brain starts to think, I'm like, are they going to wait until we have the countertop? to keep installing these or are they going to go ahead and do they have like a trick well they definitely have a trick they just lift it up which makes sense they just lift up the top one exactly the amount of space that's needed for the countertop stone to slide it so they're just going to bring the stone and slide it you know in and then obviously do some kind of probably finishing work like i don't know if it's caulked or um, you're using some kind of sealant or something like that, but that makes so much sense so that they can keep going They can keep building the cabinets They can keep putting them up and they can finish it out on top so that their work is done They got all this side pretty much in now. This is my like pretty piece <laughs> This was the piece of the cabinetry that I really wanted to be more of a statement and more designed these are all gonna have glass front cabinet doors the reeded glass. So this is just the raw walnut. It has a lot of purple undertones in it. This is not our finished color. They're actually gonna stain it. Um, I'll show you the stain color as well. One design element that I really wanted is that I didn't want the whole thing to be walnut, meaning the back, like back here, all this dark. I did a render of it dark it looked like a black hole. I didn't want the whole inside of the cabinet once it was stained to be like so, so dark. So I did another render, see what it would look like with a lighter color, basically the same color as the wall color in the space. And that's what we decided on. Now it's not painted, it's actually factory done. So it's like super durable. It's not gonna chip over time or it's not painted. I love it so much more, it's so much lighter. And then we'll have lights shining on it as well. We maximized all the storage over here with the Lazy Susan. These are gonna be all upper cabinets. So we're gonna have all that countertop space, which is a design change that we did kind of like last minute kind of thing we just thought we needed a little bit more so all of that's countertop trash can sink right in the center right where it was before we saved on moving the plumbing and all that the dishwasher more drawers here and an upper cabinet so this is the side that they're going to be working on tomorrow they're going to bring the hood and then put these upper cabinets these are gonna go up high. They also have some panels that they need to put on, like the edges, the sides, to make it look really polished and finished. And then once they get all the pieces in, especially the bottom cabinetry, 
We can have the fabricator out here so that they can start fabricating our stone countertops. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of our kitchen renovation. We're gonna continue to chip away at this design and just making it the kitchen of my dreams, truly. Um, there's been so much detail and so much work that's gone into this already and it's coming together so beautifully. We're gonna get cabinet doors and drawer fronts. They're gonna come and install the hood. We're gonna pick the paint color. They're gonna be doing some fine tuning on like the painting in here. And we're gonna be installing appliances, countertops. We're full swing in the pretty stage and I could not be happier how it's all coming together. If you have missed any of the episodes, I'll leave them all linked in the playlist below so that you can get caught up. And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell notification if you love these types of videos. And I will see you guys again for another episode in two Sundays, probably. Pending baby boy's arrival, we, we, we shall see, but I will of course keep you posted. Bye guys. I love the addition of the wider piece on these shelves. It makes it look so much thicker and more expensive. Mm, I love it.